What is up, lords and ladies? King Raiden here, and welcome back to another Call of Dragons video. So, if you notice, guys, I actually paused for a bit there just now because I don't know if I can actually tell this or mention this video if it's a uh, Call of Dragons. Even though, yes, sure, I am playing the game right now while I'm recording. But the thing is, is this is not just your ordinary Call of Dragons video. So, it does not involve, uh, involve any like action or progress or anything or even guides. I just wanted to tell you something guys in a way, in a form of a story. Okay, so I'm not really sure how long it's going to take, but probably it's gonna take like more than 10 minutes or maybe 20 minutes. So, if you're interested, stay until the end of the video and if you wanted to know about the story that I'm going to tell you, or if not, then you can just skip it and just close the video and that's it. And uh, before we begin guys, this is just uh, only for myself, okay? Um, I will not be pointing, pointing any fingers to anyone or mentioning their names, but I just wanted to like make some uh, some things clear, okay? So before we start the video, guys, or before we start the story, we need to go way back uh, in 2022. So at least you will you will be able to understand the story and the feelings that I have right now. So right now, guys, I'm not actually like angry. I'm not. Uh, thinking straight or something like that that if you're you're saying like ah no you're you're pressuring yourself to actually uh, do something bad but no 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 this is not this is not actually bad this is a way for me to actually communicate to a certain group of people that would actually see this video's uh, importance okay so okay let's start I start uh, I started playing this game in September 2022 so during that time I already got my 1,000 subscribers in YouTube but the thing is is that I was not yet verified meaning I still have lots of requirements like watch hours from YouTube to actually become a content creator and this game is actually called Call of Dragon so everybody knows and this game was actually, I think, released on the last week of August. So sorry, yeah, it, it went to Ilok mode, okay. So anyway, yeah, it it started like at least uh, maybe last week of August. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, okay? Because I started in server four. And I don't know about the server one peeps. I think you, you guys know about this one because during that time, there was only like 100,000 people to able to download the game. So I was able to download the game as well and I started in server 4. And from there on, I actually used my channel, which is this one, to actually become a platform for my content of Call of Dragons. So moving forward, uh, let's say two months ago, because now right now it's June. So let's say March, okay? So during the month of March of 2023, I was still continuing making videos for Call of Dragons and so far my channel was growing subscribers, I was getting more views, I was getting more very good algorithms and statistics and analytics on my channel, meaning I'm doing really well for a not so verified content creator. But yeah, during the month of um, March in 2023, I, I was already uh, verified as a content creator for YouTube. So during that time, it's up, it's up to me to actually beat my threshold uh, limit in YouTube. But anyway, it, 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 yeah, the threshold is a different story, okay? So we're just going to focus on the, on the story of the Call of Dragons that I'm talking about, okay? So I got an email from Call of Dragons saying that you have been invited to become a content creator for Southeast Asia. And, uh, and I was confused. I said, what? During that moment, I was actually really happy and excited. And just to be honest, guys, I really cried. Because for a content creator who has put so much effort 
in their day-to-day time or in their lives to actually like create something which they love uh, being paid off is phenomenal I mean it's really nice you as a content creator being emailed by the game itself and saying that you have been invited to become a content creator is a very good thing so yeah I cried I shared it to my family that uh, I, I told my mom that I was uh, invited to become a content creator for Call of Dragons most of my family were really happy for me and during that time, I was the first Filipino in Southeast Asia to become a content creator. And if you don't know, guys, actually, Shinchi is also a con- uh, Filipino and a content creator for Call Dragon. So he is living, I think, in the States right now. So yeah, this, this is different. So moving forward, now that I'm in the content creator for Southeast Asia, I was like expecting like we need to do something like maybe they're going to send us some daily quotas like we need to like create a video every day and something like that so it's up for me to take up the challenge right because as a content creator you need to do everything to actually support the community then uh, I think a couple of weeks later they actually uh, released this uh, program and it was called the Call of Dragons Content Creators Program. So in my mind, it clicked directly that because now that I'm a content creator for Southeast Asia, then maybe I'm already automatically inside the program. But boy oh boy, I was so wrong. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, my phone is alarming. So anyway, yeah, I forgot to silent it. So anyway, going back to the story, um, in my mind, I thought I was already... Uh, uh, inside the program then I realized that I was not <laughs> I I was not in the program yet so meaning this is a different program for content uh, for content creators so I went to this uh, site which is a official site for content creators or the program you need to list yourself there. You need to like uh, fill up some forms, everything. You need to do the process, the requirements, everything. They, they need to verify your status if you're eligible to join the program. And in my mind, yeah, I think, I think so. I think I'm eligible for this program because I'm already, you invited me guys to become a content creator, right? So I said, yeah, okay, okay. Then next thing you know, I got it. I was in the program. But I started like half, like, half midway of the month like two weeks after the program started that's the time i joined so i was delayed for two weeks and the one who informed me was one of my colleagues from the philippines who is also a content creator in the program we will get to him later but i will not mention his name as well just to like uh keep it confidential when it comes to like to the people who are involved because of course this is a, a story mainly focusing on what I experienced as a content creator. But anyway, moving forward, I started the, the, the challenge okay, of the program because there was actually some list that you need to do. For example, if you wanted to do videos, there's actually three categories. You can do shorts like uh, one minute above to eight minutes. Uh, you will be paid by four dollars Okay, now here now now here is the best part because now money is involved. Okay, this is real actual money guys and for Long videos, which is eight minutes above is Six dollars and for live streams If you're live for 60 minutes and above then you will be paid by the by the program eight dollars so there's four, six, and eight dollars. So during that time, I was actually creating long videos because, yeah, it's not my forte to actually create short videos like uh, from one to six minutes. I mean, yeah, I have like uh, short videos before, but I tend to make it longer. Not to the point that I need to do like one hour live streams, no. Because during that time, I was not really fascinated when about live stream because I don't know how to modify my phone. So, anyway, moving forward, again, like I said, I was not really fascinated with the live stream. 
So, I tried to avoid it. I just wanted to like record everything. Like, for example, there's there's an action going on. I take a screen or a screen recording or a recording of that uh, certain situation. The next thing you know, I'm going to edit it, uh, do some voiceover, something like that. Go hours and hours of editing, configurations, converting, uploading, everything. So it's probably going to take me like a couple of hours, okay? The next thing you know, I'm going to submit my video into the form. Like, I will fill up a form in the program. Then I'm going to submit it to them. Then I think it would take like a day. For them to actually uh, verify it because you cannot be paid guys even if you're making lots of videos you need to be it, it needs to be verified first but to be verified you need to fill up a form you need to send it to them so there's a 50 50 chance that your video will be approved or not but like i said i was invited in the program um, no 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 i was invited in the content creators uh, for Southeast Asia, then I joined the program. So meaning, in my mind, I was thinking, okay, maybe I would get it. I mean, it it, it would not be a big of a hassle or a, a big deal for me not to get it, right? Because I'm a content creator. So moving forward again, a couple of weeks later, I got almost all of my videos approved. And there was like one video which was not approved. I don't know what was the current situation. Um, if I can recall, I think it involves like time. Uh, I think I was like uh, a little bit late when it comes to like uploading the video because it already turned like uh, a day a day after. For example, um, today is June one. Okay, I made the video today. Then you need to upload the video within twenty four hours. But I uploaded it uh, on June three, meaning I should have uploaded it on June two. So I think that was that that was it. That was the the situation that has involved why my video was not approved during that time. But anyway, it was okay. So after uh, a couple of weeks has passed since I joined the program, it was the big day. It was the day for us to get our salary. It was the day that all of the content creators who joined the program to be paid. So I was really uh, excited and I had so much anxiety within me that there was still this uh, bluff that I'm thinking about because there are so much things that is happening around the world like involves uh, money, involves like uh, programs, apps, everything like you know you know the drill right? There's There are lots of things that are involving these types of scenarios that it does not uh, come true. But on the later part, I was surprised because I actually got the money. I was actually paid by the program by the color dragons program and said oh my goodness this is this 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 stuff is real i mean oh my goodness i was so happy because all my efforts um was paid off so i was able to pay some of my expenses at home i was able to to pay some of my loan to get here to work to actually to actually work in abroad it made me happy then uh, i thought it was the end I thought it was like only a one-time big-time deal like yeah it's, it's only going to happen uh, this month and after that there's nothing else anymore so I thought it was like a, uh, a promotional stunt from Call of Dragons but sadly that was not the case so after the big salary pay or, or the day that we got our pay I suddenly stopped like submitting my videos in a form but of course yeah I was still making videos for YouTube for my channel about Call of Dragons content but I did not uh, fill up any form in the program then I was able to talk again with one of my colleagues from the Philippines again uh, one of the content creators um, I said how are you doing I, like, I, I just like wanted to ask him how, how was he doing something like that then after the middle of our conversations he mentioned that uh, am I still uploading or submitting my videos in the program and I said what I thought the program uh, finished but he he hesitantly like uh, said no I mean it's like he was surprised because of course we are both content creators both of us got paid from the program then he said to me like uh, no bro 
the program still continues. Have you haven't read the news? Of course. Sometimes I'm a bloke. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I don't I don't actually like read the news or announcements. But anyway, yeah, the program continues. So from March uh, May May 16 up to June 15, I think. Uh, that was the 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 next duration for the program. And during the month of May, they actually also released the TikTok uh, event that you will be able to earn as much as $2,500 with your famous TikTok video, right? So it was a different uh, event that I did not join. I only focused in the CC program or the content creators program for Call Dragons because it's already too much for me because I'm uh, already working 11 hours a day, six times a week. And I need to do also my edits and everything and I need to sleep. I also have other um, things to do, like important things. Like, you know you know what I mean, right? So anyway, moving forward again, now that I realized that program still continues, then I tried again uh, submitting my videos on time. And suddenly, they also like uh, did some adjustments on the requirements, like saying like, uh, no, 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 you need to like again now uh, upload the video then after three days that is the time that you're going to submit your video then okay no problem then they add another requirement which after three days you also need to put how many views do you have on your video and I said okay sure no problem because I don't have a problem with my views because I'm, I'm always getting more than a hundred videos per video so it was not a problem for me then after that I got two of my videos approved. Then it was then after the two videos got approved, I again suddenly stopped submitting my my videos, which was again my fault and not the fault of the program. Because of course I was busy, I don't have any time to actually upload any video or submit any video. So I took a break and focused on work for, for now. Then after like a couple of days, I went back again to actually create uh, Call of Dragons videos. But this time, I got another video which was not approved and I said, okay, yes, I was not lucky this time because my video was not approved. And I said, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step, step it up and I'm going to make it better. That's what I thought in my mind, but maybe uh, maybe the dev maybe the admins or or the ones who, who are checking the video was not satisfied with my video, so they did not approve it. And I said that's okay. I can try again tomorrow because of course, even though they're they're saying that you need to uh, submit your video after three days, but if you continuously upload vid a video every day, then you can actually do. Uh, a submission or you you will actually be able to get money every day because you're doing it daily right so again I was doing it daily uh, I already started uh, doing live streams and if you don't know guys if you're staying in the channel and if you're subscribed to my channel you actually saw a couple of streams like almost every day I was doing a stream right and that was it I was uploading the stream and for me like I said, I have limited resources in my end because I'm only using a phone. But still, I try to do my best to actually make it more exciting and fun as a video. Even though if it's a, it's a live stream, I don't have anything to like edit it on, on the spot because it's a live stream. But still, I am very positive that this one will actually work. But again guys, they actually again denied or did not approve my video and I said oh my goodness okay what's happening okay maybe because I'm new with the live stream maybe they're not yet uh, flexible with me that 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 was the first thing that came into my mind then again the next day they did not approve it again I said okay come on I think this is uh, being ridiculous like okay something is wrong so what I did is I reached out to the admins of the program and said hey how are you doing um, can I ask a question about my video? Why was it not approved? Something like that. Um, did I do something wrong? I think I did right. I think I think I think I did all the requirements in a right way to actually be uh, uh, to be possibly uh, no 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 to have a possible feedback right to get my video approved. Then they said like okay we will send someone again to review your video 
uh, they were saying like this, do not worry. I actually have the whole conversation, but I don't want to actually uh, show it on the screen. I just wanted to share it with you guys again, okay? Um, okay, I trusted the admin. But again, I continue to upload the video. I continue to submit a video in our program. And again, and again, and again, it was not being approved. And okay, now I'm being uh, uh, suspicious about this one. So what I did is I went, uh, I went to reach out my colleagues again, asking them, how are they doing? Are you still doing the program? And they told me that they stopped doing the program. And I said, what? Why you stopped the program? They told me that they were, their videos were not being approved. I said, why? Why? What? What's happening? I don't know. They don't know also. They did not ask the question. And if they did, they were not getting any replies at all, even though they're in the program. And this guy has like a thousand subscribers. He has a very good uh, retention when it comes to view and viewers. But still, he was not being, uh, being approved, being paid for the videos that he's being, uh, the, the, the videos that he made or he makes. Then I said, okay, let's wait for uh, like a couple of more days just to like uh, get some leg space. That's what I thought for now because I want to, I don't want to actually stress out myself because maybe they're having a hard time. Maybe they, they're not accepting our videos because maybe they're busy. But suddenly the day goes by, all, our vi all of my videos that are being, uh, all the videos that I, I have submit, we're not being approved. So, okay, it came to a point that I reached out CS. Uh, I reached out to Call of Dragons uh, customer service in Discord and in in-game. I asked them, like, uh, could you help me out regarding on this uh, program that you guys are running? And at first, they were actually confused. Like, okay, what type of program are you talking about? Is it the uh, content creator, uh, create the creator zone? There's, there's actually also a different program. I mean, there's actually lots of events and programs involve Call of Dragons, but I only joined the CC program and that's it. But anyway, moving forward, they were really nice. I mean, they actually uh, helped me out. Um, they tried to reply all my messages and they, they assured me that uh, they will try to help me out. And I said, okay, yeah, these people are really good. But the problem is, after a few more days, and they told me that they will reach out to me, did not happen. So they actually like stopped midway. They just only like uh, told me like uh, they want to reach out, but nothing was happening. And until now, there was no things or whatsoever that, that is happening about the help that they're trying to do for me and there came to a point actually that i wanted to check out the other approved videos before i was telling myself like okay maybe these videos were approved because there were there are maybe they have a higher count of subscribers maybe they have more viewers or they have more views something like that so i said okay let's give it a try i want to check this uh, videos of theirs those who are being approved almost every day when I click the video I was shocked my my mind was uh, reacting very differently in a way that it's it's trying to understand what I'm seeing right now so when I tried clicking the link of the video that was approved and approved for being paid for it had like one subscriber and it had like five views i said oh my goodness what is this like okay at first i would say okay okay okay. i think i think uh this guy maybe did something really awesome to be able to actually get his video approved and paid then i tried watching the video and there was nothing they weren't even playing they were they, they were just like only screen recording the game and that's it there was no audio there was no there was no uh there was there were some sounds okay the in-game sounds like the sfx and the music something like that even the voices but that's it that's simple that, that that you're just only like recording the game and that's it and what i did is that okay i i did not finish the live stream video because it was it's it's one hour so i don't have enough time i went i went back and check another link Still the same, have like 54 views, 
220 subscribers. Okay. I check another video. It was 17 views. Had like 50 subscribers. Another one was 90 subscribers. Another one was 150 subscribers. I got so much screenshots of those content creators that they approved. Because it was so darn good. They were able to pass the criteria. They were, they were able to pass the requirements that the admins were asking for us. And I was like, okay, they were, uh, their videos was approved, but what about mine? I got like 100 videos every time I finish a stream. And after three days, I would actually get like 180, 200, 300, 400, 500 views in live stream. But why was it not approved? Maybe I submitted it in a wrong time. Like for example, because here in UAE, um, we are four hours late in the Philippines. So what I am thinking about is that the submission for the time of the video or the process of the form is actually focusing their, their time difference or they're focusing their time management in the Philippines because uh, Philippines is, is like one of the countries that are up to date when it comes to time so probably that's that was i that was the one i was thinking at first then then i realized okay are there any filipinos who were approved here okay then i checked none i mean the the two colleagues of mine who are from philippines was not here even though they upload the video even they had thousands of views for their videos but again they were not approved then when I checked the countries of the content creators that were approved, they were all Indonesia and they were all Thailand. And for the other countries, there was like only two or three. But most of them were like all Indonesia, all Thailand. I said, oh my goodness, what is this? What's happening? What's happening to the world? I was like confused. Then again, I reach out to the admin. I talk to them, hey, again, uh, how are you doing? Sorry to disturb you. My video again was not yet approved. Can you help me out? Same same thing that I did. I asked also CS. I also asked one, uh, one of the Farlight staff, like, okay, um, I think uh, Southeast Asia has a different requirement, but yeah, the staff said that um, they, they, they will help. They will help me regarding on this issue but there were no help at all that's why i made this video not to actually hate them but to actually reach out to them that uh, to show them that how do i feel about this one because they were the ones uh, the call of dragons was the one who invited me to become a content creator and now that i'm a content creator for call of dragons i joined the program and now that i joined the program i am not eligible anymore to get my videos being approved and being paid so I don't know how they actually see the meaning of content creator I mean like if you ask me everyone can become a content creator okay I'm not being like biased or anything regarding the subscriptions or subscription counts or anything as long as you know how to make a video, even if you have zero subscribers, you're a content creator, which is true. But again, like I said, they invited me to become a content creator for Southeast Asia, which I approve, which I joined. Now that I'm a content creator, I joined the program. Then the program uh, is requiring me to actually upload the video and I need to pass the criteria and the requirements to actually be paid. But now I'm not getting paid at all. I'm, and all of my videos were not being approved. That's why uh, my main concern is this. Why? What is wrong? What did I do wrong? Could you tell me what I did do? Uh, did I upset someone? Did I miss the timing? Did I not pass the requirements? I mean, what is the requirements to actually uh, get being paid? That is my main concern, but again, there were no, uh, there were no uh, replies. And I wanted to share also with you guys that in the last six months, in 2020, 2023, I actually got 100,000 views alone. 
all of uh, in six months in 2023. In six months times I got uh, in six months time I got 100,000 views on all of my Call of Dragons videos. So it's not that really impressive, but still getting 100,000 views is is somewhat decent number. It's not the best like the same with Mr. Beast or with other content creators getting like uh, millions of views every month. But still, me having only like 1,500 subscribers and getting 100,000 views is somewhat a good uh, good achievement for my level. But still, YouTube already announced, already gave me the, the go sign that you are now officially a YouTube partner. Meaning I'm already a content creator for YouTube. And the, uh, the game also gave me the, the thumbs up of me becoming a content creator and at the same time becoming a Facebook moderator in the group of Call of Dragons. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am really speechless right now because as of this moment guys, I am already a moderator for Call of Dragons Facebook group. Um... I'm trying to do the best I can to actually help out the community. I'm doing all the things that they wanted me to do. I'm listening to their advices. I'm listening to the rules and regulations of how to become a moderator. Do not let your feelings get to you. Of course, that is it. That, that is what I am doing. I'm trying to avoid it. I'm trying to become a professional. I'm trying to, be, uh, I'm trying to behave as much as I can to become uh, a, hu a human being. But again, on the matter of being a content creator in a program and not being paid for is getting, uh, but getting bad. It's getting worse. And I know for sure, guys, that you don't know how I feel right now because, of course, you're not, you're not joining this type of types of program. But if you're inside this program guys and if you're doing so well in your videos and you're not being paid for it then you would actually feel what i'm feeling right now and it's not it's not anger it's not hate but it is disappointment i feel so disappointed why because i feel like the admins the staff call dragons has abandoned me like I've been doing this stuff for the last nine months I've been playing since September 2022 during the time there were so few content creators I was already making these videos I was starting with Boss Nasty I was starting with Shinchi I was starting with Chisgo, Echo, with Sneaky there was so much content creators during my time and we were only so few and until now, I'm trying to create videos for Call of Dragons, but now it's not like I'm not being uh, seen as a content creator anymore because of this. It's not about the money, okay? It's, it, I mean, it's not a, of course, money is involved, right? Money is okay because you're, 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 you're joining the program. You join the program, they said these are the rules, and once you're being verified, then you will get paid for. So, of course, I was expecting it. But they could, they could have uh, like reached out to me saying like, uh, uh, Hey King, so sorry about this, but we need to say something to you. Uh, I ne we need to give you some bad news. As of this moment, uh, I think you're not, no longer eligible to become a content creator for this program. So we are so sorry. If they do this to me right now, I would accept it. If they were very, very honest with me, if they actually tell me the reason why they actually cannot reply to all of my questions, I would take this answer very seriously. And I would say, thank you. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. I would be very, very happy that they were able to open up this uh, bad news to me, even though I already lost um the momentum to actually get uh extra money to, to actually earn something but it's still all right they could actually like tell me like uh, okay because uh you were able to join the first month of the content creators program uh you were you you got your pay but this month again we're now actually looking for new content creators who are are still starting uh please be advised that uh 
uh, you're no longer eligible for this. So we do apologize. If they do this to me, bro, uh, guys, I would take it. I would take it. I would shove it in my heart, and I would be on my way. And I would not be. Uh, I would not be disappointed at all. I would be very happy because they were able to tell me honestly, in a way that I could understand. Because I'm a human. I understand English. Even though my main language is Tagalog, I can understand them. So that's what I mean. Where where is the justice that I uh, that I needed? Where where is the proper answers for my questions? There was even one person who I actually asked about this, and you know what this person told me? Maybe the Call of Dragons doesn't have any more money to pay you. <laughs> that was that was this person's answer. The person told me that maybe Call of Dragons program doesn't have any money to pay you anymore and to all of your other Filipino content creators in the program. Yes, there's actually three of us Filipinos who are not being paid anymore, not being verified or being approved of their videos in the program. So all three of us are now really disappointed. We're not mad, we're not angry, we're not looking for any fight, we just wanted some answers for our questions and hoping that this video would actually reach out the Call of Dragons uh, team. Maybe the developers, maybe the staff, maybe, maybe the moderators, or maybe the admins that say, ah, oh, we are sorry, we are deeply sorry. Even if, even right now, even if they don't actually pay me at all, it's okay. I don't, I don't have any beef. Even if just this, this, uh, tell me straight to my face, like saying like, uh, Hey King, sorry, you, you cannot join the program anymore, that's it. Okay, no problem. I love the game. You guys did very well. You uh, you created a game that surpasses Rise of Kingdoms. Because when it comes to the action, when it comes to the graphics, animation, everything, you surpassed Rise of Kingdoms. So meaning this is the next level type of gaming, which I love, which I show my passion to, which I try to create videos from from the deep of my heart from the bottom of my heart right so like i said guys uh i just wanted to have some clear questions that why other people from indonesia and thailand are being approved of their videos even though they only get five views nine views only with one subscriber count 12 subscriber counts 200 subscriber counts and i have 1500 i getting i'm getting like a 2,000, 4,000 videos every day. Uh, not 2,000, 4,000 videos, but views every day. But why my videos are not being approved? I put, I put effort in the edits. I put audio. I try to make the quality of the video very, very well. Um, maybe if you can tell me what's wrong, um, I might do it more uh, properly and I might put more effort to it. Just tell me what I need to do and what are the mistakes that I have done. I'm I'm speechless. So yeah, if the Call of Dragons people who are listening to this right now, yeah, I don't hate you. I'm not angry with you, but I just I'm just disappointed. That's it, because. I was expecting that uh, we are like a partner, we are like a team because I'm trying to promote the game as much as I can in a way that I'm also enjoying the game and loving the game but somehow it's only one-sided. I do not feel anymore the love, I do not feel anymore the communications with the staff and everything. I don't know what is happening right now so I'm disappointed but anyway moving on. Uh, I've said what I need to say about this issues that I have. Uh, I have. Uh, I have said what I need to say. So I guess that's about it, guys. It's been almost like 40 minutes of talking to you about the situation, about the story. Uh, this is not a rant. This is not about. Uh, accusing someone about this i just wanted to share my feelings that i am disappointed with what is happening right now with the current situation because as a content creator it is hard for us to actually uh, compete with other content creators 
because yeah normal it, it is normal but anyway moving on it is what it is so yeah i think i'll end the video here guys and yeah i do apologize again because there's like too much of the the uh lock icon being present in my video right now so anyway i'll move i'll end the video here and again guys if you want call of dragons content please to make sure subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with your friends because you are awesome thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time this is king raiden signing out